88-year-old Mr. Ma has lived alone since his wife and son died. His relatives rarely visit. They didn't even show up when his son died. A middle-aged man surnamed Yu, who sells fruits near Ma's home, was the one who arranged for his son's funeral. Yu was also the one who took care of Ma when the old man fell down and lapsed into a coma. They've known each other for years. He often went to the first stand and waited for the kid to come back from school. He chatted with the vendor whenever he had time. As an old man living alone, he didn't have anyone to talk to. That place and that man were sources of comfort. He asked, "What should I do if there's no one to take care of me when I become unable to care for myself?" Three years ago, Ma selected you as his guardian. When the old man couldn't make decisions for himself, you has the authority to handle Ma's affairs, such as living arrangements, financial and medical decisions. China has been issuing new laws and regulations to better protect the rights of senior citizens, including the right to select voluntary guardianship. Li Chengyang, a notary from Shanghai, says his job is to decide if the candidate is qualified for the role. Sometimes our job is to weed out the bad guys. We see you as a bad guy at first. You've got to prove that you're a good guy. For those who are not close relatives, to establish a voluntary guardianship, the notary department might keep them coming back many times before we can ascertain why the seniors don't designate their close relatives as their guardians. And this assessment process can also take a long time and cost a good amount of money. If family members disagree over the need for volunteering guardianship, or who should act as a guardian, the process can be especially painful, prolonged, and costly. Sometimes we also pay surprise visits. We visit the community and talk to the neighbors or the neighborhood committee. We would also suddenly show up at the apartment to visit the elderly person. Two years from now, more than 20 percent of China's population will be 60 or above. That's around 280 million people. By 2050, China will have more than 500 million people aged 60 or above, about a third of the national population. We hope that they live with dignity and according to their own will. When they are unable to care for themselves, they could have people that they trust to help them. I'm not only talking about the older generations, but also about myself. It's an ideal state for all people. Some believe, based on legal rights and personal will, volunteering guardianship may help to ease the pressure as China works to meet the growing demand for senior care. Xin Ruinan, CGTN.